traffic, good day LA, can gadget, and kids. <laughs> and kids. <laughs> All right, hi kids, Carly, Quinn, how are you? Hi. You're here, you're sort of our testers, you're having a great Awfully time. Awfully glad you're yeah. here. Uh, everybody's excited about this stuff today, what are we going to see? Well, why don't we start off with what there was, and then we'll talk about what there is. Okay. And what, what, what there will be. Remember when Game Boy first started, it was very, very difficult to read mm -hmm. on screen. But still, we loved it. We've had it for years. Now contrast this particular device with the brand new Pocket Game Boy that has just come out a few weeks ago. It's actually smaller. It's about a third smaller and about half the weight. And what's awesome about this is, even though it's hard to see on camera, the screen is much, much easier to see in, in real life. And what's really cool that I like to remind people of is that you can take the, your Game Boy games and bring them home to your Super Nintendo system with the Super Game Boy adapter and we can actually play those same games, many in color, on television, just as we do with this, with this particular one. Is that a Game Boy in your pocket? No, I'm just happy to see you. Thank you. You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that concludes that concludes our show. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we ha anyway, I've just, I've just uh, killed myself here on, on uh, the Super Game Boy adapter. But then we talked about this is what is and here's what's coming. Brands making new introduced this coming weekend on Sunday oh. is the Nintendo 64. We're going to see it here for the first we time. We're going to see it here for live, hands on for the very first time. And we'll bring it up here on screen. And we've got our, our two folks here to, to help play the game. Why don't you go ahead and play the game while we're talking about it? We have it up on the screen here. Now, Carly and Quinn have been playing the game all morning, so they've got it. That's now. right. This is called Super Mario 64, the first, the flagship game of this brand new system which we have here on, on the table, the, the Nintendo 64. It retails for $199, goes on sale this weekend. Two games. First is Super Mario 64, and that sells for about uh, $70. And we also have Pilot Wings here which will sell for about $80. Both of these games are excellent, and what's really cool, and you can notice on screen, is the uh, outstanding graphics, something we haven't had before, and the music in the background also is outstanding, really lends a lot in a very different way to any of the games. You compare this to other systems, for example, Sony PlayStation, which is out there at about the same price, I think really can't compare. This is much better. I think this is really, really cool. It's gonna be in very short supply, though. I also should say that I, I think that for the younger players, this is too much for them. Let them graduate. Young by, what do you like, mean Like, I mean six, seven, eight-year-olds. All right, Quinn, a 10, is this too much for you? No, Absolutely no, not. No, not at all, but the real little ones, it's something for them to graduate to, and, and again, notice that this is cartridge-based, where mm -hmm. we've seen so many of the system, so much of the stuff is CD-based. You mentioned pricing, how much? $199 for the game system, and it mm -hmm. comes with one controller and no games. Oh, so the games cost how much games, per? The games are about $50 to $80 per, which are more than the CD-based games, but I think that they do a, a really a, a better job. This is really an outstanding system. All right, let me, go to, let me go to our panel of yes. astute observers of the video game scene. Carly, you have been playing this for, it seems like, about an hour and a half already, right? Two hours? Yes. I want your opinion. I want you to be candid. I want you to jump in. I want you to say what's on your mind. I can't believe that they've made this. I mean, the technology seems so advanced. It's like... He's completely 3D. You know, he can climb You're talking about trees. Mr. Gadget or the game? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe both, I don't know. The game. Oh, okay. okay. And so you haven't seen, we really haven't seen graphics like this. No. So this, for compelling. you, this is a huge hit then, Yeah, right? even better than computer games. Oh, wow. Well, that's very important too, because obviously computer games are thought of to compete with this. So that's, that's a very interesting comment. What about you? I think it's really cool. You want one. Yes. I can tell. Both of you want one. You know, they've been here all morning uh, working at this thing for you, Mr. Gadget. I assume you're going to give them one. Is that correct? I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I have to talk to our friends at Nintendo because right. this one's going back. I mean, it's not like they said we hated it. That's right. That's right. You know, well, you know, we'll, the, see. The, we'll see. The interesting, this is, how, this is how it's all changed. There was a time when just being on a TV show would be very exciting for the kids. Mm -hmm. They don't care. They're here. They're just into the game, right? That's right. In a big way. Yeah. Yes. Quinn is speechless. Hey, he finally said something. Good. Well, he did kiss me. That's okay. true. That's true. Shall we go to the information and get something else to show us? Well, that's it. But let's go to the information. All right. If you want.